Hi everyone, it's board certified plastic surgeon Sean Doherty from Boston, and I wanted to speak to you today about the breast augmentation consultation. Obviously, there's a lot to talk about when considering this procedure, but I'd like patients to think about a few things before coming in to see me so the consultation can be pleasant and efficient. The first thing to think about is cup size. So I want you to not think about cup size. Uh, cup size is something that is based on the bra world, and I don't think that's necessarily associated with ideal outcomes in breast augmentation. I like patients to think about size and shape and what they'd like to improve, and I think that an ideal and successful breast augmentation procedure makes your breasts a better version of themselves. We're not looking for a specific cup size, we're looking for the best, safest, and healthiest, most aesthetic version of your breast. The second would be photos. I like patients to go through photos of their friends or uh, things online of breasts that are too big and breasts that are too small and then breasts that are just right. I think bringing those all to a consultation really helped me determine what your aesthetic is and what should be your best outcome. Next is preparing for downtime. I think you should really have between one to two weeks of not having a lot of things on your plate. That first week you need to not be driving, you need to be able to come in and see me if there are any problems, and have about two to three days of discomfort. So you really want to plan that before coming to see me so that the timing will be appropriate. And lastly, the thing to think about beforehand is the determination of saline versus silicone. That is one big differentiation of pathways to go before a breast augmentation procedure. A majority of my patients request and ask for silicone gel implants. However, saline implants are perfectly fine. There's the traditional version of the saline implant and now a newer version called the ideal implant. So thinking about that and having uh, focused questions to be able to go through with me during the consultation would be the best use of your time. So thanks for listening and I hope that was helpful.